is the challenge of Johns Hopkins University to prepare its students for the future and to create new knowledge for the world. Never has this challenge been more critical than it is right now. It's been more than 100 years since education has been delivered during a pandemic. We've come a long way in 100 years. Good morning, everybody. Good morning. Good morning. Today we're going to talk about vaccines and vaccine development. No viral disease has been eradicated from the face of the earth without a vaccine. With that in mind, let's talk about the development of the first vaccine. We were faced with a challenge. That's okay, we're often challenged. This challenge was how do we get education to our students that is meaningful, enriching, and safe. We're doing this course this semester called Film and Literature in Pandemic. I want to introduce Emma Nidal, who is a former student and a rising screenwriter in Hollywood. I would love to take this class. <laughs> I wish I was a student still. Luckily, as a writer, you spend a lot of time alone. And in fact, it's probably better if you don't have any social distractions to take you away from working. And you can, you know, writing is in development. It's still one of the parts of the industry that are that's full steam ahead. This is a turning point for education. We are now merging technology and education to an extent that no one dreamed was possible. That kind of innovation won't vanish. How we change it in the future is something I very much look forward to. Could you explain why we don't have a vaccine for HIV? That's a good question. It's basically because HIV is a very, very sloppy virus. Before our immune system can get to know it, it's changed itself into something else. Sir, how, how sloppy is the coronavirus? That's a good question too. We're still collecting and analyzing sequence data on the coronavirus, but the coronavirus seems to be considerably less sloppy, more precise than HIV. So it seems more likely that we'll be able to develop a successful vaccine for the coronavirus. Johns Hopkins is one of the world's leading research universities. At the Krieger School of Arts and Sciences, Hopkins students have been expanding their knowledge beyond the classroom for decades. We have consulted with experts from our renowned medical school and School of Public Health, and we have protocols in place to deliver education and continue to enhance our academic community, both safely and securely. Students today are the vanguard of a new generation. They possess persistence, ingenuity, and passion that will change the world. They didn't expect or ask for the changes and challenges that lie ahead but their success will be something that is long talked about, long remembered. And what they've learned will change the way education is delivered in the future. I think we're all looking for the silver linings and I think one of them is the fact that you are here and that my colleague Matt Porterfield is also here uh, live from Mexico. Matt moved there with the idea of actually shooting. So I'm really interested to find out from Matt, how has this affected your practice? Yeah, this isn't the year that I expected at all. Slowly writing a feature here, spending a lot of time learning the language. I was really lucky to make a short with a couple of friends. And it's something that I don't think would have been possible if it weren't for these sort of COVID times. We will miss seeing you in person on campus, but our new production facilities mean that students will not only be able to continue learning from world-renowned experts in engaging and innovative research, but also that they will benefit from the entrepreneurial spirit and camaraderie of their colleagues and faculty. Mm -hmm.